We're going to read one verse, and but my deliberations will find me going to more than one verses. We go to verse number nine. Most 
Saints, 40 years of no tangible results to show your effort. And in not only in church or in ministry, but in other areas of your life. After you have gone and have carried out and have given long service, contribution, sacrifice, sacrifice so much, and then no result, no appreciation. Oh God. Not easy. I want to 
I got three things. I want to say in verses 1 through to 6, Lord God, he experienced imprisonment, beating, and torture. Lord God. But later in his life, Jeremiah will be dropped into a muddy, Lord God, a mucky, muddy cistern, but was rescued before he died. I've got to feel a preacher hitting on from somewhere. I say, have you ever reached a place where people drop you, Lord God, plunge you into some situations? It is messy, it is muddy, it is yucky, it is nasty. It is the old talk, but before you die, not that somebody rescue you. Can I feel in the home? I said, I can call you to the planet of the enemy. We are plunged here into a cistern, into an institution, like what you're in, and your expectation is for you to die, is for you to die.
the people Jeremiah thought were his friends turned on him.
When you go through persecution, yes. let alone by some disingenuine, fake, not authentic friends. You don't worry. Because then you have another set that God is going to appoint yes. to pray for you. Who have set out to persecute you. But God has appointed some people to pray for you. So I want to go right now, set the Kakula Mashandama. Tell me, which team are you about?
frustration. In verses 7 to 10, he was frustrated. As he reflect, he was frustrated. He was suffering. He suffered for serving God. Jeremiah felt like God deceived him. God put a burning desire within him to proclaim his word and Jeremiah assumed that great blessing would accompany such a call. You ever remember? In Jeremiah chapter 1 when he said, I have called you, I have ordained you. And I have sent your foot to go and preach. You're not afraid of their faces. But I am with you. I know you have a mother's belly and I have ordained you and appointed you. So go forth. They will be against you but pursue. Frustrated. Yes. Oh God. And he assumed that great blessing would accompany such a call. But God had not promised him a bed of roses. Oh, somebody help me here. And so in 1 Corinthians 9 16, hear brother Paul. Paul says, Yet when I preach the gospel, I cannot boast. No. For I am compelled to preach. I am constrained to preach. I am forced to preach. Come on, somebody. But Paul says, Woe to me if I do not preach the gospel. Come on, somebody. Hello? Jeremiah's counterintuitive, intuitive choice to worship. Church, can I say this? In verse 11 to 13, Jeremiah's counterintuitive choice to worship. See, I'll let read the chapter quickly. You go down to verse 20 and focus. Church, we need to worship most when we feel like it the least. Come on, I didn't say something. I said we need to worship Sister Paul the most when we feel like it the least. Jeremiah's wish that he had never been born. In verse 14, 14 to 18. You see, I'm going fast. In verse 14 to 18 of Jeremiah chapter 20, he said, I wish I had never been born. Job had similar thoughts in Job 3, 11 and 16. This is not the same as the thoughts of suicide. And certainly not the same as planning suicide, which is even worse. Are you there? That's not what they're saying. Are you there? Is it okay then for Christians to sometimes feel like they wish they had never been born? Of course, yes. But it is not, it is no mindset that we should maintain. Come on, somebody. We should not maintain that mindset. Because God wants our lives to be characterized by joy. But as Solomon says, there is a time for everything under the sun. We go through the full range of feelings in our lifetimes. Church life's dark times can pull us in all directions and produce all sorts of feelings. But we must cling to God during those bleak and dark experiences. Oh, somebody worship the name of the Lord. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Church, Jeremiah reflected. The reflection of Jeremiah, bring me to verse nine. To, to, to verse nine. To verse nine. Jeremiah chapter 20, verse 9. A. What was his reflection? Let's see. Jeremiah said, Then I said, I do not make mention of him, nor speak anymore in his sin. As Jeremiah reflected on nearly 30 years, children, as Jeremiah reflected, He was at rock bottom. Come 
any option to go out. So to speak. And felt as if he could not go on another day. Somebody worship God. Somebody worship God.
feeling of loneliness than being in despair. But church, apart from being despised and discouraged, I wonder if you're still here with me. I wonder if you're still here with me. There are the deeds that Jeremiah felt defeated. I wonder if you're still here. Jeremiah felt what? Defeated. I feel the Holy Ghost. Jeremiah felt defeated. Lord God, verse 9a. Bring up verse 9a. Yeah. Jeremiah felt defeated. And so verse 9a, yeah, Jeremiah said, Then I said, I will not make mention of him. That's an indication that you have been defeated. We won't talk about it. Yes, I remember now, God had appointed Jeremiah to preach and to do stuff. And now Jeremiah said, Listen, because of what I'm going through, the torture, the ridicule, the imprisonment. Come on, somebody. What they are going through, I feel like I don't want to preach anymore. Defeat is one word. I don't use it. I said, I do not make mention of him. Not speak anymore in his name. Come on, somebody. I want to say this to us. Lord, I am done. That's what Jeremiah was saying. You know. In uttering or claiming to be defeated, Jeremiah was saying, God, we are done. I'm through. I can't go another day. Come on, somebody. Jeremiah was saying, I'm never preaching. Oh, God, I feel the Holy Ghost. I will be 
word. I don't feel like talking about God. I don't feel like I want to go to church anymore. I don't feel like I want to sing on the choir anymore. I don't feel like I want to worship the Lord anymore. I don't feel like I want to moderate anymore. I don't feel like I want to be ladies president anymore. I don't feel like I want to be like business and you director anymore. I don't feel like it. Because some people in the church are just so partial. I say some people so partial. Lord God. But Jeremiah said, I can't allow their partiality. I can't allow their favoritism. I can't allow their hypocrisy to stop me from advancing. I am compelled to continue. So Jeremiah says, every now and then, I feel his word. I feel like the fire. Shut up. So I worship God. I feel his word was in my heart as a burning fire shot up in my bones. Lord God, and I was feeling oh God without bearing. Lord God, and I could not keep it any longer. Oh, so I praise God. When Jeremiah, when Jeremiah, and while Jeremiah, they have wanted to abandon his calling. There was something within him that refused to let him do such a thing. Yes. Oh, I know you're tired. I know you're mad. I said sometimes when you feel that you just put on your mind, you just pack up your dress, take off your heart, and say, no, come back and no church. Be done with church.
Thank you. 